Hello, my name is Reverend Laurel A. Rockefeller, and I'm coming out to you going a little different from my normal reviews, and I'm going to give you a review of a wonderful ensemble by Davis Bridal. This is a, a set of separates. The style numbers are A3857 for the top and A3801. Now, in the past, I've given you a review of Benji Zaxxon and Ailey Prince and given some commentary of that wonderful series starring actor Christopher Burden, who's an actor I think should never have retired because he's just one of the best actors. In fact, I put up a fan page for the TV series Benji Zaxxon and Ailey Prince and for actor Prince Yubi. It's called PrinceYubiFan.com, and I hope you all see it. But today, I'm going to give you some fashion advice and some fashion tips with this wonderful ensemble that I just purchased for my singing. Yes, you've heard me singing. Yes, you probably don't think much of my uh, wicked ways and my wicked dreams, but that's okay because I'm going to keep singing, and I'll probably be singing in this outfit. And I want to give you some friendly advice about this because this is kind of a popular style. Now, on David's Bridal, they have these separates category. And it's a mix and match kind of thing. David's Bridal says to like to market to the wedding industry, but in truth, David's Bridal is probably the best place to get an affordable dress just for date night, going out on the town. You need something to just look great in. You're going to your class reunion. You just want to go out and you want to look nice. Or you want to go sing. And since my style of singing isn't the t-shirt and jeans kind of singing, it's the get up and wear a ball gown kind of singing. So I want to give you a review of this so that you know whether or not you'd be wasting your money on this style. First, I want to comment on color. I have a dress by David's Bio already in a color called Lilac. It's really a true lavender in, this, in, the, in the fabric chiffon, which is very popular for David's Bridal. They use chiffon a lot. Lilac is a beautiful, wonderful color. Unfortunately, they don't offer any of, this, any of the clothes in this collection in Lilac, which they shouldn't. The only purple that they offer is called Wisteria. Let me show it to you. This it was Wisteria. It's kind of an icky, dark purple. And on the website, unfortunately, it makes it look like more of a media purple. They make it look more, I, I don't want to call it a plum, but just like a true medium royal purple. Or not completely royal, but sort of a lighter than royal. Just a very pleasant purple. When I brought, picked this thing up in the store, I went, oh my god. I had no idea it was really this color. I thought I made a horrible mistake. They do offer this style in ten different colors. And I felt like, oh my god. I wish I would have picked a different one. So for heaven's sakes, when you're ordering, do not go by what the website. Go to the physical store and look at the fabrics and ask them, what color is this, what color is that, and make sure you know what, what the color looks like in chiffon. If you're ordering in chiffon, make sure you know what that color looks like in chiffon. Do not order on the website side on the The big mistake. Now the styles. This is a piece of separate, so you order the top different than the skirt. Let me show this to you. This is a one-shoulder style. It has a, a drape effect. The fit is determined by a set of boning that goes in a, in a princess line. And the boning catches right up here. There's a problem in terms of the fit in that the boning kind of cuts you a little bit. So you've got to watch it. In fact, you may want to put something on the inside of, of this top in order to sort of mitigate that otherwise you might end up with a nice nasty cut or bruise because it does irritate. Now I'm going to show this to you. I'm going to turn around and let you see. The zipper is right here. It looks just like your, your coat zipper or your jacket zipper that you're used to for the winter. Just like this. Get the idea? Now the skirt, I don't think I have enough space to back up so you can see the skirt. But this, this goes all the way down to the waist. And actually, the top goes down to about a hip. A little bit lower. If you put your hips naturally on your waist, hands naturally on your waist, it goes a little bit lower than that. So uh, basically down to the fullest part of your hips, where your butt usually gets about the fullest part. That's considered your, the fullest part of your hips. The skirt is a straight skirt. It's an A-line skirt. So it's not a straight, straight skirt where you have to worry about slit. It's a little bit fuller than that. I'm going to get on a chair. And do this very carefully so I won't fall. Because one problem with the skirt is that they don't intend this for a petite. And I am 5'3". 
Okay. So, this is the bottom of this thing. I'm going to raise my knees up. You can see this. I'm going to very carefully hold on to a piece of furniture and watch your turn. You can see that there's some fullness. I'm going to have to pick this thing up. I'm going to turn. I'm going to have to pick this up because there's some fullness and I really, really don't want to fall. And of course, this thing is extremely long. Uh, I'm literally stepping on this thing. So you get the idea. Now again, the problem is that this thing is about 12 or 15 inches longer than my feet. So for me, ways to ways uh, ways to angle is 32 inches. This thing is a good 44, 45 inches long. Maybe a bit longer than that. Which is obviously a real problem. So you really want to wash that out. Odds are extremely good that for you, you are going to need to do some sort of alterations on this. This is one of my biggest criticisms of the, of the, of the collection. They do not offer a mid-length version for a skirt. You can either buy the short satin skirt or knee-length skirt, or you can get the super long skirt. Those are your only two choices. So either way, you're probably going to have to do alterations, which is a real pain in the butt. One, you may not be able to do it to yourself. Two, you're going to have to pay big bucks for it. And I have to tell you, I've had issues with alterations of David's Bridal. I had two dresses done with them. In both cases, I had to have the alterations done over again. In one case, on my lilac dress, they got sewing machine oil all over it. And they basically ruined the dress. I didn't realize it until after I worn the dress out. And I already got dirt all over it because when I asked them to take it up to 32 inches, she insisted it had to be 34 inches, which is way too long. You swept on the floor. And of course, when you're in New York City, you're trying to go up and down subway stairs. I nearly broke my neck, and of course, the, the dress got damaged. I finally went around to showing the manager recently, and the alterations were done in April. And in autumn, I went to Francis Tavern for, well, a formal little lecture. They said there's nothing they could do about it because I didn't show it to them right away. And as far as they could tell, the, they couldn't verify that the damage wasn't being done by me. It was done by them. So I was out of luck. So let me give you a caveat on tour on having alterations done at David Bridal. Your store may be fine, but if you ever do alterations there, check every inch of your dress or, or your skirt or whatever it is that you're having done there. Because if they make a mistake and you don't catch it right away, you are out of luck. You could be out of your dress, you could be out of whatever. I'm going to have to, fortunately the damage was done near the hem, I'm going to have to cut off the dress right up to where they did the damage and just have it shorter. So much for my long dress. Out a uh, $155 dress plus the $50 I spent on the original alterations. Caveat on tour. And again, caveat on tour on the on this color. If I would have known that that the wisteria was quite this color, I might have maybe picked a blue. So you got to watch out for that. So this is Reverend Laurel A. Rockefeller with the Dragon Spirit Coven in Brooklyn, New York. We'll hope that you'll join us for our servant regular services in Prospect Park, and you'll get to see me in these amazing clothes at the at our services and other festive occasions. I hope you'll join me for my singing. And of course, I hope that you are now a more informed consumer when it comes to buying this particular style at David's Bridal. Again, the top is number 83857. The skirt is in 83801. Both are in chiffon. Both are in the color wisteria. Happy shopping, everyone. And remember, David's Bridal isn't just for weddings. Have a great day. Goodbye.